Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Maker, and today I'm teaching you how to set up and connect with your Cricut Joy. This is the Cricut Kickoff Lesson 1, and together we're going to set up our Cricut Joys step by step together. Pull up a chair here in my craft studio and let's get started. Now the Cricut Joy is a smart cutting machine that's very compact and portable. And while it is smaller, it's also smarter than other cutting machines. Uh, the cute little Cricut Joy can do things that older cutting machines cannot, such as make continuous cuts up to four feet long, cut repeated shapes up to 20 feet long, and cut special material without mats. It is very cool and it makes an excellent starter cutting machine or a second cutting machine for those who need something more portable or just smaller. <laughs> so here I have a brand new and still sealed in the box Cricut Joy cutting machine. I'm gonna open the box, see what's inside, connect it to a variety of devices. Um, I've, got, I've got my Mac computer, but I've also got an iPad, an Android, everything. We're gonna use everything so everyone is covered today. And then we're gonna do our first cut. My goal is to get you set up and able to cut by the end of this video. It is really easy and you can totally do this. Now I do have something special for you, a totally free printable handbook that goes along with these free lessons. You can download it right now over at cricutkickoff.com. Just register, the register for the class, it's totally free and you'll get the handbook. Um, it is all up to date too. <laughs> I'll be referring to it as we go along during today's lessons. There's some really awesome stuff in here. And one more thing, I want you to know that you are not alone. I am here to help, as is my amazing team and fantastic community of more than half a million Cricut crafters. Hang out here with me in my studio, take notes in your handbook as we go along, and if you get stuck, reach out and ask for help. I love to help, as does every member of my community. We are always here to help you succeed, and I mean that sincerely. Nothing brings me more joy, haha <laughs> joy, that's funny, <laughs> than seeing you make things that make you happy. All right, are we ready to unbox this? Let's just get down to it and get it done, because it's actually really easy. So I am going to just begin. So don't forget to get your handbook, it's awesome. In fact, let me just show you a couple things here. So here's the handbook. I printed it out this morning. I updated it just a couple days ago. This is the table of contents here. This is the links to all the lessons so that you can always find things. So you can, what we're doing right now is lesson one. We're doing the Cricut Joy and you can mark things off in here. You can write down everything about your Cricut so you don't forget. All of these things, like what came with it, the color, of course, joy comes in one color, but all of the things about it, right? And this is our setup checklist, right? So everything is printed out for you so that you can just uh, follow this along and follow along with me as well. There's all sorts of worksheets in here also. And then um, questions about lesson one. And of course, I'm going to answer your questions live at the end too. Okay, so definitely get that. So here is our Cricut Joy. Again, this is brand new. I love unboxing new Cricuts. <laughs> so brand new, we just got it. And we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna open it up here. I, can, I, I know I can just peel that off, but then I, I, it keeps the, the box nicer, right? Oops, there's ones on this side too. I'm using my True control knife, you can use whatever you have to do this. Okay. So this is what we see when we open it up. The Cricut Joy is right here. Here in the back is a little envelope that says, open me. <laughs> so let's open that up. I always recommend that you start with a documentation rather than just get out your new toy. I know that sometimes it's hard to resist. All right, so let's get started. There's a little card right here. And inside it says go to cricut.com slash setup. So when we're ready, we'll do that. And also in here we have a piece of blue cardstock. It's one-sided. We're going to use that in lesson three. A piece of vinyl. This is smart vinyl. We're going to use this today. And there is a mat in here as well. All right. And then of course, your warranty and FCC statements. Always good to keep all of these things. 
All right, and so here's our Cricut. It's so cute. <laughs> Let's see if, what else is in here. We should have a power cord in here too. Let's pull these out. Oh, I can pull this up right here. So in there we have the power cord. So it comes in two parts. There's this part here and then this is the part that actually goes into the wall or your extension cord. And then I want you to note that back here, so it's easy to miss, is a pen, a Cricut Joy pen. You'll want that too. I'm gonna reach in and get that out. There we go, there's our pen. So that should be everything. I always recommend you keep your box, okay? So your box is great for uh, storing it. It's great for um, transporting with it. And if for some reason you need to ship it or send it back, you have the original box. I mean, it's made for it, it's perfect. Okay, we'll set that aside though. So here are all the things that were in there. And here is our Cricut. It is shrink wrapped. <laughs> so I'm going to very carefully just uh, use my tip of my knife here to open that up and take off the plastic wrap. There we go. The Cricut Joy does not weigh very much. It's got to be under five pounds. I don't know. I don't remember how much it weighs. I'm sure I knew at one point, but I don't remember anymore. Uh, so, and then it opens just like this. And inside there'll be some packing material. See the styrofoam in there? We want to remove that. There we go. Just like that. This is so easy to set up. And those are the main things. So I think that we're ready to actually set it up like through our software, right? Okay, so let's, let me switch my camera over because it's time to connect to our Cricut Joy. Let me move this over here. And let's put the Cricut Joy right here and then I'm gonna switch to this camera which should be able to see it, it can, yes, right there. I'll zoom in a little bit too, so we can see that better. There we go. Perfect, okay. All right, so now it's time to connect to our Cricut Joy. To do this, first you need an internet connection. Cricut, uh, uh, to do this, Internet, right, so Cricut needs a broadband connection of at least two to three megabits per second, which really isn't that fast. My connection here at the studio is 100 megabits per second. Most people will have this without any problem. You also need a device to connect your Cricut to because the Cricut does not operate independently. So that can be a Windows computer running Windows 10 or later, a Mac computer running OS 11 or later, an iPhone or iPad running iOS 14.5 or later, and an Android running version nine or later, like this Samsung tablet I have right here. You can always check the latest system requirements at jennifermaker.com slash cricket dash requirements. All right, so we're gonna con connect to each device. Um, we're gonna start with a Mac computer because that's what I'm doing this lesson on right now. And then we'll do a Windows computer and then an iPad and then an Android tablet. So to begin, we wanna refer back to the materials that were included with the Cricut Joy. So as you'll recall, you know, we have our sample materials here and our little mat, you get all these things out. We'll set these things aside here for now. We don't really need those right now. Okay, so this is what we want. Let's get started. <laughs> so I'll hold this up to the screen so you can see a little better. Uh, so you want to go to cricut.com slash setup. It's so easy, it's so awesome. So I'm gonna go head on over to my web browser. There we go. And we're going to go to cricut.com slash setup. So you just wanna type in cricut dot com slash setup just like that i'm using google chrome you could probably use any modern browser and then on this page you'll see i'm glad you're here <laughs> select the product type you want to set up we're setting up a cricut 
cutting machine, right? So we want the cutting machine. So we click that. And which product are we setting up? We're doing the Cricut Joy today, right? So we click on Cricut Joy. And I'm going to make this just a little smaller so we can see the whole thing. There we go. All right. So uh, you're almost there. Now you need to download Cricut Design Space to continue set up. Now I want you to know at the bottom here, the download now app or button is grayed out. Uh, so like if you click this right now, it won't work. What you need to do is click, I agree to Cricut terms of use and um, privacy policy. And of course you can click these links to read them, which I always recommend. <laughs> um, I have read them before, so I'll go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to click down, download now. And it downloads. And let me actually, my face is covering this. Let me move my move my picture here so it's not in the way there we go so right down here at the bottom if you're using google chrome like i am you'll see it shows up in the bottom now that you and i what i actually do is i click this little arrow right here and i just do open okay can you see that yes you can um if for any reason you're you this you don't see this or you're using a different browser that doesn't, doesn't have this handy little open arrow box, you can go to your downloads folder and look for it. It'll be called Cricut Design Space Install.dmg on the Mac. On Windows, it's a little different. We'll cover that when we get there. I'm just gonna go ahead and click open though. And I'm going to switch over to my whole window so you can see everything. One moment. There we go. So here is the Cricut Design Space window. I'm gonna move that up a little bit so we can see everything here. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So on the Mac, you'll see something like this when you open it up. What you wanna do is click and hold and drag this over and drop it onto your applications uh, folder like this. And we can actually close this. You just click and drag and drop it over there, right? And so once it's installed, then you can actually go double click on this and go find it. So I'll go, I'll do that now. And it'll be under Cricut Design Space right here, okay? So if you ever or can't find it, once you've put it into your applications folder, it's right in there. So I'm gonna double click it to open it up. And yes, I am sure I want to open it up. <laughs> if you ever get this message, it's fine. If you ever get a message that says it can't do it, go to your settings and check your settings and you can give it permission to open it so that you're not surprised by that. All right, so let's open that up. So Cricut is installing for us. There we go. And I'm gonna switch over to my design space only window. There we go. All right, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Interestingly, it didn't take us right to our material setup screen. It usually does. It's probably because I'm logged in. So let me go back and let me sign out. That's probably why. So if you are signed in, you will just go right into Cricut Design Space. Like if you already have another Cricut, it'll take you right in there. So I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can show you what it looks like when you're brand new. Because most of you who are with me right now will be new to your Cricut. So let's actually quit this and we'll go back and restart Cricut Design Space. All right, so this is the start. This is what you see when you first open it up. All right, and then we get to the login screen, sign in screen. At the bottom here, you'll see two options, product setup and sign in. Now, even if you already have a Cricut account, I want you to click product setup. And once you do, you are, offered the opportunity to create a free Cricut ID. Cricut Design Space, by the way, is free. So there's no cost to use it. There is a subscription, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but you do not have to have that to use your Cricut. So that's very clear. So if you already have a Cricut account, however, you can click on this sign in right here and then type in your name and your password and sign in. But I'm going to assume that we're all new. So we're going to create a new account. So got my keyboard and I'm going to type in a name. So when you're doing this, be sure that you are typing the correct email address. Double check it when you do it. Okay. So just go back through and make sure you didn't make any mistakes in that email address, because if you did, you're going to find it difficult to log back in again later because it'll be wrong and you won't remember what mistake you made right now for your password. 
it needs to be uh, lower and uppercase letters. It has to have at least one number. It has to have at least one sp special character and it needs to be at least eight characters in length. So I recommend that you do that. Also, don't forget, like if you are like me and you have difficulty remembering your password, in your Cricut Kickoff Handbook on page uh, six, no. I think, oh, here we get on page eight. There's a place for you to record your email address and your password. Obviously keep this somewhere safe, you know, if it's at home, chances are it's safe there. Uh, but you can keep all of your information about your Cricut Design Space account right in this handbook. Okay, so back in Cricut Design Space, I put in my email address and my password, and then you need to put in your name. Make sure you spell that right too, or else you'll be getting emails addressed to the wrong person. <laughs> or you know, you know how that works, right? And then indicate where you live. I live in the United States, but this is a menu that you can just click and then, you know, choose what you want. You can also search on it right here. There we go. And then down here at the bottom, you have the option to get emails about Cricut discounts, product news, all that stuff. So you can uncheck that if you wish. And then again, you need to agree to Cricut terms of use and privacy policy. And I realize that you have to do it twice, but people get this software in different ways, different avenues. So it needs to be here again. So you want you to know also that if you don't click that button, you cannot create your Cricut ID. So you wanna be sure you click that and then your button turns green. If you ever see this where it's gray instead of green or something that looks like you could click it, it means there's something you haven't done, okay? So we're gonna click Create Cricut ID. And that brings us to the Let's Get Set Up page. Uh, so you need to select your product type and we're setting up a smart cutting machine and we're specifically setting up the Cricut Joy. All right, now we need to prepare our workspace. Uh, make sure you've cleared 10 inches or 25 centimeters of space behind the Cricut Joy. So here is our Cricut Joy. We have plenty of space behind it right here, right? This is important because your material will feed in through the front right here and come out the back and it'll move back and forth. So you don't wanna put it right up against a wall. All right, so when that is good, we can click this arrow button here to go to the next spot. All right, find an outlet. Plug the Cricut Joy into a wall outlet and then power on. All right, so over here, I we need our power cord, right? So let's turn this around so you can see. Here's the back of the Cricut Joy. Here is the only port that there is on it and that's where our power goes. So this is the, the power cable for it. So I'm just gonna plug that in right here. You see that? Super easy, goes right in here. Oops, that's the wrong end. Is that? No, it's right. It's just, there we go. <laughs> I was not quite good. <laughs> wasn't quite getting it in the right spot. All right, so it's hard to do upside down like this. Let me get it in the right spot and then, there we go. So it goes in right here. All right, and then again, it comes in two parts like this. So. We need to plug this end into the, I always call the brick, I don't really know what it's called, the power supply, I think. I don't know, it's got a name. I should really know that name. And then it does say wall outlet, but you can totally use a properly rated extension cord. This is actually a heavy duty one. They're nice to have around. So I've got it, I'm gonna plug it right in there. Okay, so it's plugged in. See that little uh, little light come on? So let's move everything around here. So there is no power button on the Cricut Joy. Once you've got it plugged in to its power source, it just turns on. Let's put this down here. There we go. Perfect, okay. So let's go back to Cricut Design Space and take a look at what our next step is. So we plugged it in and powered it on. We saw that little white button show up on the top of the Cricut Joy. So we can move on to the next screen, connect to the computer. So we're gonna connect via Bluetooth in system settings. And I want you to note that there's actually some um, 
extra stuff down here at the bottom, right? So use your mouse to scroll. <laughs> if your screen is small, you might not see it, okay? So down here it says currently, please wait. So if your Cricut Joy isn't showing up for you automatically, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You need to go to Bluetooth, okay? So on the Mac, you find Bluetooth in your system preferences. So let's see, I'm gonna switch to my whole screen here. Here we go. So down here at the bottom in my bar are my system preferences. They look like this on the Mac. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click on Bluetooth, which is right here. And it's going to scan the surrounding area for any Bluetooth powered devices. Uh, and you can see my keyboard is, turned, is, is on and connected, thankfully. And here is the joy right here. It'll show up if you give it just a couple seconds, it'll show up right. If for any reason it doesn't, you can turn Bluetooth off and back on again, and that might kind of jog it to like wake up or something. Uh, so it's right here, and then we can click connect, just like that. If for any reason you're ever asked for a code or something, just type in four zeros, okay, zero, 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 zero. Uh, you shouldn't be asked on the Cricut Joy, but you know, never know. So there we can see it is now connected. So let's go back to Cricut Design Space. And it tells, it can tell it's connected. It says Joy uh, Bluetooth down here. This four digit um, numeric, alphanumeric code here is like the specific number of your Joy, of your Cricut. So if you have multiples, you'll notice that this number changes. Um, so if you're having any issues um, getting connected, there is a connection help, but I just wanna, uh, give you one little tip here. So if you are using a computer that doesn't have Bluetooth for any reason, I recommend you get this little thing. They are not very expensive. This is a Bluetooth, a USB smart Bluetooth dongle. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, I think it's under $10. You can get them from, you know, Best Buy, Amazon, all those places and it just goes right into your USB port and it makes your computer Bluetooth capable. Okay, so it's really easy if for any reason you have an older Mac that doesn't have Bluetooth. I don't think that's a thing, but it might be a thing on a Windows computer. So if you need, if you don't have Bluetooth, this is what you need. Okay, so back to Cricut Design Space. We have connected and this button down here at the bottom is green and it'll only light up when it sees your Cricut Joy, so that means you're good to go. So let's go ahead and click Continue. Awesome. Let's activate Joy, add Cricut Joy to your Cricut ID. So right now, double check that this is the email address that you want to use. By the way, don't try to email me at this address. I just create, when I'm doing Cricut Kickoff, I create uh, basically pretend email accounts, so this is not an actual email account. <laughs> Um, otherwise, it would be like, hey, we already got that email. So, so, uh, but make sure, okay, because if it's not, click on not your email and fix it right now. Okay, so we're going to agree to the Cricut Terms of Use and Privacy Policy again. And then we can go ahead and click Activate. Excellent, we did it. Now it's updating to get the latest and greatest features. So it's rebooting the machine. It says to stay connected and powered on during update. And this bar here at the bottom, it'll give us the progress. So we can watch this to see how it's doing. And uh, let's give it a few minutes and it will update. Most new machines will need to do this, right? So it depends, you know, depending on when they shipped or when they were made, there's almost always some firmware updates. So don't be surprised by this. It's totally normal and nothing to be concerned about. We want our Cricut cutting machines to have the latest software. This is one of the cool things about having a Cricut is that they send and update the Cricut, the Cricut's firmware. Firmware is the software that's in your machine. They call it firmware because it's like, you know, a firm thing, like it's, you know, in the machine. It's not software that's on your computer. It's essentially code that's in your uh, machine, right? Okay, you hear that? That was your Cricut Joy, just doing a little check. Setup is complete. Your Cricut Joy is now set up and registered to your Cricut account. And then we click next. All right, so now we're given the option to get Cricut Access. So Cricut Access is a subscription. It is, uh, 
I'm looking at the price here. <laughs> well, you know, the price actually depends on whether you get month by month or yearly, and then there's two different levels. Cricut Access is awesome, and you get it free for 30 days. Uh, it's highly recommended if you're using your Cricut. Since we're just setting up our Cricut right now, and you might not be ready to start making, right? Everyone is at a different stage. For now, I want you to click maybe later. If you know that you're going to just start going right away, go ahead and start your free trial. But if you're not sure, right, you got stuff coming up or whatever, do maybe later because you can always come in and activate your 30 day trial. I want you to use your 30 day trial when you're actively making things. So I'm going to click on maybe later. All right, let's test a cut. So to make sure everything's working, a Cricut's going to walk us through a cut. It's also a fun way to learn how our machine works. So we have these options. Sunflower, lips, bear, a crown, a football, and some mountains. I always do the sunflower. And so you just click on the one that you want to make. You can pick whichever one you want. And then when you're ready, you're gonna click next. But right here, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna show you how to do the same process on Windows, iPad, and Android. It'll be a lot quicker than what we just did <laughs> because I pre-recorded the videos. I'm just gonna narrate them as we go through. Um, it's the same process. You'll just see things a little different here and there, but I want you to see exactly how it will look for you. This is important, right? Because if there's ever just a little thing that's different, it might confuse you. Setting up a Cricut Joy on Windows. I'm going to connect my Joy to my Windows computer to show you how this works. We'll want to go to a browser and go to cricut.com slash setup, just like we did on the Mac. All right, and then once you're on that page, you need to click on cutting machine to choose that one. And then you'll see all of the cutting machines that are available, but you wanna click on the Cricut Joy. And then on the Almost There page, click I Agree to Cricut's Terms of Use and click Download Now. And while the app is downloading, over in the lower left corner, you'll see that you can actually open it up. So click on that little arrow right there and choose Open When Done. This is the easiest way because it'll auto open for you and start installing for you. It's super easy. Uh, but if you didn't do that, you can always find it in your downloads folder. Once it's installed, you'll see two buttons, uh, product setup and sign in. I want you to click product setup. And on this page, you have the option to create a Cricut ID. If you already have a Cricut ID, you can click sign in and just put in your email and password. Otherwise, let's do create Cricut ID. Put in your email address and be careful to spell it properly, double check that you've got it right. Put in your password, it needs to be eight characters long, upper lower case, special characters, and at least one number. Your first and last name, double check everything. Uh, your country, and then click I agree to Cricut's terms of use so that you can click create Cricut ID. And that brings you to the Let's Get Set Up page. So click on Smart Cutting Machine right there and then choose your Cricut. So we're gonna click on Cricut Joy. All right, prepare your work screen. This looks just like before. So you wanna make sure there's 10 inches and then click that arrow button, plug it in, power it on, and click that arrow button again. And then you wanna to connect to your computer. Now, if you don't see your Cricut Joy down here, you'll want to go turn connect to it in Bluetooth. So go to your computer, search for Bluetooth. This is the easiest way to find it in my opinion, and it'll bring you to your Bluetooth and devices. And here you can look for it, connect to it. You can click on add device right there, all that good stuff. You might see it in your list here to pair it. Um, if you do need to put in a code, you can put in four zeros and that will work for you. But just look for it here, uh, add, click add device if you need to. And then when everything is good, go back and then you can click the green continue button and then you can activate your joy. Double check your email address, that is correct. F click here to fix it if it's not. If everything looks good, you wanna click I agree to Cricut Terms of Use and Privacy Policy and click Activate. And then it will update your firmware and once setup is complete, you click on Next. And here's Cricut Access offer again. Again, I recommend that you click maybe later if you're not sure yet, if you're ready to start cutting. And that brings us to the Let's Test a Cut page, just like we saw with the Cricut, or sorry, with the Mac. All right, now let's do the Cricut, um, 
our Cricut Joy setup on the iPad or iPhone. Setting up a Cricut Joy on iPad and iPhone. To begin, you'll want to go to your Safari browser and type in cricut.com slash setup, just like this, and then tap go. And that brings you to this page. Uh, glad you're here. Tap on cutting machine to begin. And then you'll want to choose your Cricut. So we're using a Cricut Joy, so we tap on Cricut Joy. On the Almost There page, be sure to check the I Agree to Cricut's Terms of Use so that the Download Now button highlights and then tap that. That will take you to the App Store. And you'll see this page, it says Cricut, Cricut Design Space, Cricut Inc. Tap on Get and it will download to your iPhone or iPad. And just give it a little while. Its speed will depend on how close you are to internet and its speed, of course. And then when it's done, tap on Open. All right, you'll be asked if you want to use Bluetooth, say OK, and yes, allow notifications. And you saw this, this kind of glitzy little screen here. It's two options at the bottom. Uh, I recommend machine setup. And on the machine setup page, go ahead and let's click allow there. Oops, I guess I repeated that, sorry. <laughs> on the machine setup page, let's just click there. We are given the option to create a Cricut ID. So if you're new, you'll want to create one. If you already have a Cricut account, you'll click on sign in and then put in your email and password. But let's do create Cricut ID. So you just tap in your email address. Again, be very careful that you are doing it properly. It's really easy to get it wrong on an iPad or iPhone, I've noticed, because it's not a normal keyboard. So double check that your email address is correct. And then for your password, again, you need at least eight characters, upper and lower case letter, letters, uh, number, and a special symbol. I like to use, oh, I can't tell you because that would be a security issue. <laughs> but make sure you put that in, make a note of it, of course, and then tap in your first name and your last name, right? Spell everything correctly so you're addressed correctly when Cricut writes to you. <laughs> or they need to look you up in their computer, that helps too. And then select your country. I'm in the United States. You can search for it at the top or just scroll the list to find it. And there's United States. And then you'll need to check both options at the bottom before you can create your Cricut ID. Sorry, only the one at the bottom, the terms of use. And then you can click Create Cricut ID. And there we go. That brings us to machi what machine do you want to set up? So tap on the Cricut Joy because that's what we're setting up today. We don't need all the other ones right now. Just know that this page will let you do all of them. So tap on Cricut Joy. And then tap on, um, well, actually, now we need to plug in the Joy and power it on. And then we need to have Bluetooth turned on on your, so make sure you have Bluetooth turned on, all right? And um, if you don't have it turned on, you'll need to go into Bluetooth. So like if you it just blank like this, you don't see it at all. You'll want to go into your settings, which looks like this icon down at the bottom, this gray one with the gear on it. You want to tap on that. And then you want to tap on Bluetooth that you can see over on the, the left right there. And then it'll scan for any devices. I can see the joy down there under other devices. And you can tap on that. If you're ever asked for a code, you just want to put in four zeros. All right, so just tap on the Cricut Joy and it'll connect to it. Then you can go back into the Cricut Design Space app, which looks just like this, and give it a minute if it'll show up and you can click on it and continue on your way. Sometimes it does it automatically, sometimes it doesn't. So just how that you can do that. All right, so when it's all activated, you can set it up. Here's Cricut Access Offer again. I recommend that if you're not quite sure that you start your free trial a little bit later. So for now, you wanna scroll down so you can get to the skip button in the upper right corner, right? It's kind of hidden at first. I'm sure it's not intentional. So you just need to scroll. And then that brings us to our let's, let's test a cut page, just like we saw in our other two setups. All right, now let's do our Android tablet or phone. Setting up a Cricut Joy on an Android. Again, you'll want to go to Google Chrome and type in cricut.com slash setup. 
There we go. And that brings you to a, to a page that looks like this. And you'll want to tap or click on um, cutting machine and then select the joy. And then scroll down and be sure to click I agree to the terms of use and click download now. It takes you to the Google Play Store. It looks like this and you want to tap install. And it will install for you. Its speed will depend on your internet access speed, of course. So give it a little while to install for you. Make sure you're installing this version and nothing else, right? So follow Cricut's setup prompts. Um, sometimes it can be confusing on the Android, I've noticed. And when it's ready, tap on open. And I want to pause just for a second because... We come to this screen next and you'll notice my screen changed from the nice wide screen to this smaller screen. Currently on Android, Cricut Design Space only runs on um, portrait mode. So if you were in landscape mode, that's where it's wider rather than taller, it will switch and it can't be unswitched. Okay, so don't, don't let that confuse you or surprise you. It is in this long, tall mode. Okay, so let's continue on. At the bottom, you can see two buttons, machine setup and sign in, and you want machine setup. So tap on that one right there. And that brings you to the sign in screen. Again, if you have already have a Cricut account, you can go ahead and put in your email address and password. If you don't, you'll wanna click on create Cricut ID and put in your email address. Be sure to spell it properly so you don't have problems logging in later, double and triple check it. Put in your password. Remember that you need at least eight characters, upper and lowercase letters, a number and a special character. And then put in your first and last name. Again, double check that you're spelling everything correctly. It makes a difference. Trust me. <laughs> All right. And then you can choose your country in the United States. And then, um, you want to click on I agree to Cricut's terms of use and then create Cricut ID. And that brings you to your machine selection. And we want to tap on Cricut Joy or click on it, whatever one we're using. So click on that right there. And now we need to plug in the Joy and Powered On just like we did earlier. And then we need to tap to connect. If you are having an issue, you're like not seeing it, allow Cricut Design Space to connect. And then if you still don't see your joy, like they'll show up here in a list right here. If it's empty, click on the plus sign. If there's no joy to add, it's just blank. You'll need to go turn on Bluetooth or find it in your Bluetooth settings. So on an Android, you need to go to your uh, system settings. So you'll want to tap on this little round button right here. It might be different on yours, but to go back to your main screen. And this is what settings looks like. And then Bluetooth is right here. And so you want to make sure it's turned on, of course. And then look in your list for available devices and look for something called the Joy, which I see right there. And then you can click on it. If you're asked for a pairing code, you just put in four zeros. That's all you need. Uh, typically, you won't need it on the Joy. Uh, but, you know, you might. You never know. All right. So it's connecting. And that looks good. And then we can go back to Cricut Design Space. And now you'll see it here and you can click connect. Just like that. All right, so it's connecting. Give it a little moment. Okay, so here's our Cricut Access screen. You can sign up right now if you know you're gonna make things uh, by clicking start free trial, but you can also click skip and come back at any time to start your free 30 day trial, which is my recommendation while you're just learning. So I'm gonna click on skip. And that brings us to let's make a sticker. So uh, that's the same screen that we saw on all five devices. In fact, this is one of my favorite things about Cricut is that we can use it on the Mac and Windows in the iPad, the iPhone, Android, and it looks really, really similar. There are definitely differences. And in lesson three, we'll talk about all those differences. We're gonna actually look at Cricut Design Space on each three, each of those three different places, right? Um, so that you can really see the differences. But for um, for setup, it's really, really similar, which makes it really, it's really good for us. All right, so we are now ready to do our test cut. So let's go back to uh, design space. Let's test the cut, right? So to make sure everything's working, we're gonna walk, walk you through a cut. So 
we are ready. And so no matter what device you set this up on, we're ready and you can go ahead and click or tap next. So there is the next button. Prepare for cut. Confirm that the blade is set in place with the camp clamp closed. So let's switch over. So here is our cute little Cricut Joy. It opens just by pulling it down like this. This is the blade. I'm pointing to it from above. This is the blade right here. Okay. This is the clamp right? It should come all ready to go. You don't have to do anything. The blade is in there already, which is cool. All right. So the blade is good. And this clamp, and just in case you, you want to see, it just opens like this, right? So for any reason you were messing with it, it opened during transport. Someone was messing with it. You just want to make sure that your clamp is closed like this. Okay. All right. So when we're ready, we click the next button, next arrow. All right, so we want to insert smart vinyl under the guides and up against the rollers to auto feed. So remember in your box, there were uh, materials, one of which was this little piece of vinyl. This is smart vinyl. Okay, so it says on the back here, Cricut smart vinyl, and it's a piece specifically intended for doing your setup. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it under the guides and see the sides here and here, and it, the Cricut Joy will grab it for us. And when it pulls it in and out like that, it's usually straightening it out too. It's also measuring to make sure that you have enough material for the design that you want to cut. So it's really awesome. It's definitely a smart cutting machine. So back over in Cricut Design Space, it says to press go. Now there are no buttons on the Cricut Joy. It has no buttons. So everything for the Cricut Joy is done right here in Cricut Design Space. So the go button is actually right here. Um, so it'll look a little different when you're actually not, you know, not in the tutorial, but there'll always be a go button or something like that. And it'll be in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, and then we're going to watch it cut. It tells you the cuts in progress. So here's our Cricut Joy. Keep your cord out of the way. I've got mine coming off at the side here so that as it exits on the back, it's not catching on your cord or anything like that. And you can see it, the material moves in and out and your blade moves back and forth here to make amazingly precise cuts. It's really cool. For anyone who is nerdy and geeky like me, the Cricut is a mini CNC machine and instead of cutting like big things like wood and metal, it cuts paper and vinyl. <laughs> it's very cool. So it's cutting our sunflower right now. I will, I will show you. It won't take very long. And Cricut Design Space is, you know, it's telling me that it's in progress still. I think it's almost done. There we go. So when it's done, it uh, pushes itself out like this and your Cricut and Cricut Design Space tells you that it's undone too, or sorry, that it is done. <laughs> and then to unload it, you need to push the button in Cricut Design Space. So we just press on or click on or tap on unload and it pushes out a little further and then we can reach here and we can grab it and you can see how beautifully it cut. And that's it. That is our first cut. Uh, you can, of course, you're welcome to use this right now, but in our next lesson, I will actually go over how we remove this from the vinyl, the tools, all the things that we talk about. So we're actually going to have a lesson too, all about the Cricut Joy 
supplies and tools so that you can understand what smart vinyl is, what other materials you can use because you have a mat too that you can use lots of other materials with. So in lesson two, we'll go over all of the things about the actual materials and tools. So I'll show you how to weed this tomorrow in lesson two. All right, so if you've got any questions about how to set up your Cricut Joy, please let me know. Leave your question below this video, or better yet, come ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get advice and ideas from crafters just like you. It is an awesome place, a great place for beginners. And if you also want to learn how to set up your Cricut Explore, Explore 3, Original Cricut Maker, or Cricut Maker 3, I have lessons on those cutting machines too. Get links to those classes at cricutkickoff.com. Later, later today, I'll show you how to set up the Explore Air 2, the Explore 3, the Maker, and the Maker 3. And tomorrow, I'll be back for lesson two, and I'll show you all of the tools and materials and supplies that you can use for your Cricut Joy. There's a lot of them, and I'll help you focus on what you actually need so that you're not overwhelmed. So until next time in our next class, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.